Okay then, junior biologist. I've um, come out in the garden tonight. I'm just having a little look at, um, this is a fig plant in my garden. It's quite a nice plant. Look, I've got some uh, figs growing. Not sure whether they'll make it or not this year, but I might um, preserve them and do something clever with them. But I'm not really looking at that. Down here at the base of the uh, fig plant, I've planted some strawberry plants. And we can look here. They, they just look like normal strawberry plants, really. But these um, strawberry plants, what they're going to do is they're going to clone themselves. Now, we call this asexual reproduction. And if you look down here on my pathway, I'm just going to come down now, I've got quite a few of what we call runners. So these runners come all the way up. You can see, can't you? They're coming out of the plant and they come out and they're actually little clones. They're copies of the strawberry plant. Now, they're, they're, they're only early, these ones. But if I turn it over, you should be able to see. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Hold on. Let's try and zoom in. Hold on. There you go. You'll be able to see there's these little dark brown bits underneath. That's where the root's going to grow from, which is pretty cool, actually, isn't it? So the roots will come through there, and this is a genetic copy of the exact plant that it's grown from. So it's not involved the gametes, the sex cells from two plants. It's just a carbon copy or a clone copy. And what I normally do is I take these and I put a little metal hook over the top and I put them in soil and there I've got a brand new strawberry plant that will go on to produce lovely fruits for another year. So there we go, asexual reproduction in a strawberry plant.